Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm on with a quick video just to show a couple of little purchases. If you see any organic material on my sleeves, it's because I have just come in from weeding the garden and there's lots of prickles out there. So, all right. So my first purchase is from the lovely Kerry at Witchcraft Do You Do or Witchcrafts Do You Do, I should say. Now, many of you would have purchased from her before because she sells the most luscious sari silks, which I have also grabbed before. But just recently I saw she had a sale going on some stencils and that hooked me in. So I went and had a look and grabbed myself a few things. So it came today wrapped in this beautiful tissue paper, which is purple. And as we all know, I love purple. So that's going away from my personal journal. So this is the shop logo, the witchcraft do you do. And there's the link, so I will put those down below for you. But she's listed here some of the stuff she sells. She sells stencils. She sells a lot of your chipboard bits and pieces, so titles and embellishments, digitals, handmade embellishments, staked parge papers and napkins, sari silk, seam binding. I must get some seam binding sometime. Ribbon and lace, stickers, packs and kits, and so much more, so... She also is an awesome crafter herself, so you can go and check out her Witchcraft Do You Do um, YouTube. Um, sometimes her mum does some awesome crafty videos on there. So. so it looks like she's given me a couple of her chipboard um, pieces here. So I've got a feather and a butterfly, so they'll come in really handy. So thank you for that, Kerry. So this is the stencil pack I bought. So these were second stencil packs, so second quality, but that doesn't bother me at all. The price was good. <laughs> that bothers me, so <laughs> I thought, oh, no, yeah. But this one had me intrigued, so, oh, that must have come out of, oh, that's cool. I can do the, what do you call it when you do the stencil the other way around? But it has this, is that Pisces? I don't know if you can see it. Let me grab the tissue paper again. There we go. You'll be able to see that better. So that's awesome. And then I love these bottles. I thought they were really cool and unique stencils. Got this one, which is like a, a broken mesh fence. So now these are the flower ones which are really nice. They will be really cool backgrounds on tags and pages. And then we've got that one. And then there's that one. So and it looks like I've got the little flowers, which is so cool. So I can stencil around these as well. So that's awesome. I'm going to have so much fun with those. I've just started, um, using stencils a lot more now. So um, while I was on there, I saw she had an assortment of bulb pins. We love our bulb pins and I always struggle to get like your more vintage looking ones. So these are nice bronze ones. So I think they're 50 packs. So I grabbed two of them. So I shouldn't run out in a hurry, hopefully. And then she had ticket packets, and I really like the look of these ones because I don't have any nice long ones or different colours like this. And I've just, again, started using that sort of thing because they're great for layering and collaging. And just uh, one-off embellishments as well, or even this size, you could just slip into a pocket as is too. They're really cool. So they're those purplish pink ones, or lavender colour, orange. Some brown ones, blue ones, grey ones. I love those Moscow, they say. So they're really neat. Um, so that will give me something else to play with. Awesome prices too. So yeah, as I said, I'll put the links below. Go check her out if you haven't already, but I'm sure most of you have. And then I did uh, my lovely friend Mary was selling some stuff in um, our um, Facebook group, the Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters. We have a sister group, which is a bazaar where we sell stuff. We thought we wouldn't. Boutique was a bit upper class for our group. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we were thinking of all these crazy names for it. But, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bazaar. Um, 
So she was uh, de-stashing a whole lot of stuff and she had a die cut that I really like the look of and it was this one from Kaiser Craft. So it's the recipe book word pack. And I thought this would be really cool for recipe journals and recipe cards that I can make. And what I might do is make a stencil, die cut some out of some vellum to make a stencil because I think these words would be really cool stenciled as well. So that's my plan with that. And then of course she can't just send me that, can she? So I've got a little note here on a really cool um, stained um, card. So I'm gonna have to put that into my friendship book. And then she came in this beautiful greeting card. I think it came with an envelope, I can't. If it did, I've, the envelope's gone somewhere, but that is gorgeous, love it. And then she gave me this beautiful little mini journal. And I love the butterfly on the front and I just love the colours of the um, papers that she's used in it too. Gorgeous. Nice and grungy as well, so. Oh, I haven't even had a really good look at it yet. That flips up. How cool is that? And it's got an envelope. It's got a journaling spot in there. I won't take it out. That's a really cool closure, that one. It's a nice secret spot there. Some stenciling. It's just done the butterflies here. So this is really neat. Be a handy little book too and so she's got the um tea bag and she's done a topper for it and that's got a little card in it as well a little bit of paper that's folded up i think i can write on the other side of that so that's absolutely beautiful so thank you so much mary now, Mary has a YouTube, which I'll link below. She makes awesome bits and pieces and just a lovely lady too. So thank you very much, both Mary and Kerry. And that awesome packages. Now I have a big one I've got to open. I'll probably do it off camera though, because it's from Chrissy and I never ever trust what she sends me. So I'll go and check that out. Take care, everyone. Be good. See you later.